The Tuttle Classroom Group Project <laughs> has now taken a new definition. Well, we have an extreme example tonight of how things have really changed. WCJB education reporter Beth Younger joins us now with a class project that you can actually check out for yourself. Beth? The U.S. State Department offers a $2,000 scholarship to each student on the winning team that creates the best website on a topic which impacts the global community. A teacher in Orlando for Florida's online virtual school shared the opportunity on a conference call with her students in AP American History. Communicating by email and phone, three teenage girls who have never met are creating this website for the Doors to Diplomacy competition. Everything we're doing is based on technology. I mean, we don't even get to meet each other in person. Most of our notes are on the computer. America is the biggest contributor to the United Nations, but I just feel like so many people don't even know what the United Nations is doing. For example, recent news reports indicate United Nations authorities were not keeping an eye on the company hired to deliver supplies to Burundi and Central Africa. The e ESS is failing to provide millions of dollars worth of supplies, like even essential things like water and milk to the peacekeepers. We got Katie to get her teammate on the phone. Will the two ever meet? Um, I hope so. <laughs> um, it would be nice if maybe if we, you know, Got some kind of award for it. For now, the girls share their research and compile it on their Golden Bridges Connecting People to People website. They hope it gives readers a sense of the United States' impact, which supplies 22% of the United Nations budget, and a sense of the UN itself undergoing U.S. led reform. The United Nations needs to restructure so that people can't take advantage of their power and their positions. Thanks, Beth.